Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing similar figures. So similar figures have the same shape, but not the same size. Their corresponding sides are proportional and corresponding angles are congruent. So knowing that, let's see if we can solve a few problems about similar figures. Number one says triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Which proportion can be used to calculate the length of EF in centimeters? So A says five over four, the longer side over the shorter side, equals eight over EF, which is the shorter side over the longer side. So this proportion is not going to work because it's not consistent. Let's look at B. B says four over EF, which are not corresponding, equals five over eight, which are not corresponding side lengths either. So B doesn't work either. Then C says EF over five, which are corresponding, equals eight over four, which are corresponding as well. And they were consistent about, it, about doing the new one over the original one. So C is a proportion that could work to calculate the length of EF. Let's look at number two. It says quadrilateral GHJK is similar to quadrilateral LMNO. Which statement about these quadrilaterals must be true? So the first statement says angle GHJ, which is this angle right here, is congruent to angle LMN. Those are corresponding angles since if you look at the first three letters of each of the quadrilaterals, those are the same ones in order, GHJ and LMN. So we know that these angles are congruent because they are corresponding and similar figures have congruent corresponding angles. So A could work. Let's make sure that these proportions don't work just to verify our answer. So B says that GH over MN, which those are not corresponding sides, equals NO over HJ, which those are not corresponding either. So that proportion is not going to work. Let's look at C. It says GK over LO, which it looks like those are corresponding because they're both across from that diagonal side, equals MN, which is the diagonal side, over HJ. So we have some corresponding sides, but they did not keep the order consistent. GK came from the original figure and LO came from the new figure. MN came from the new one and HJ came from the old one. So since they didn't keep that order consistent, this proportion could not work. So the answer to this one is A, those corresponding angles are congruent. All right, let's talk about scale factor next. So scale factor is a ratio between corresponding parts of similar figures. To find the scale factor, you will do new over original with corresponding parts. So three says figures A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H are similar. What is the scale factor? So first I'm going to label these as original and new. And then I'm going to set up a ratio of new over original with corresponding parts. I'm going to use the shorter sides here. So A to B is six and E to F is a shorter side on that figure, which is four. So if I were to set up a ratio of new over original, it would be four over six. And then both of those numbers are divisible by two. So this will simplify to two thirds. Okay, let's look at number four. It says triangle PQR and its dimensions are shown. Which measurements in centimeters represent the dimensions of a triangle that is similar to PQR? So similar triangles have proportional corresponding sides. So we are going to check the ratios of the side lengths between the new triangle and the original triangle and we're going to see which one keeps that consistent ratio or the scale factor. So let's start with A. Four and six are my side lengths. So four is going to correspond with six which would simplify to two-thirds. And then six is going to simplify or correspond with 10 since those would be the longest sides. 
and 6 over 10 would simplify to 3 fifths. So since we have different ratios, that is not a proportion. The scale factor is not consistent. So A would not work for side lengths that are similar to this triangle. Let's check out B. The shorter side length would be 3, and that would correspond with 6, and 3 over 6 equals 1 half. And then 5 is the longer side length, that would correspond with 10. 5 over 10 also simplifies to 1 half. So since we have the same ratio, it means their side lengths are proportional, that scale factor is consistent, so the answer here is B. If we were to work out C, 16 would correspond with 6, which that would simplify to 8 over 3, and then 20 would correspond with 10, which would simplify to 2. So again, that scale factor is not consistent, so that cannot be our answer. Okay, let's look at number 5, side lengths of similar figures. So to find the side length, to find a missing side length of a similar figure, we're going to set up and solve a proportion with equivalent ratios of corresponding sides. So number five, it says find the value of x. So I have this larger triangle. And then I have this smaller triangle within it. And these triangles are sharing two of the same angles, which automatically makes them share this third angle right here. Those angles are congruent as well, so I know that they're similar. So I can set up a proportion here. So I'm going to let the smaller one be the new one, and then that bigger green one be the original one. So I'm going to set up a proportion with the scale factor of new over original. So starting with this new side length right here from the smaller triangle, that's x over, that corresponds with 10 from the larger triangle. And then I'll set it equal to 12 from the smaller triangle over 15, since 12 plus 3 is 15, and that whole thing right there is the side length of the larger triangle. Okay, before I solve this, I see that I can simplify this ratio right here, since both of those numbers are divisible by 3. So my new proportion will be x over 10 equals 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. And I can see from 5 to 10, that I multiplied by two. You could solve this with cross multiplication, but I see a ratio here. I multiplied by two, so if I went backwards here and followed the same pattern, I would multiply by two and get eight. Okay, let's look at number six. It says that trapezoid ABCD is similar to trapezoid EFGH. What is the value of X in inches? So I'm going to label these original and new, and I'm going to set up my proportion with new over original. So 1.3 is the shortest side of the trapezoid. That's going to correspond with X. 1.3 over X equals, then I have... The opposite side from that that's longer, 3.9, which is corresponding to 3. And now I'm going to cross multiply to solve this proportion. 1.3 times 3 is 3.9. And then 3.9 times x is 3.9x. And then the last thing I would do here to solve is divide by 3.9. And 3.9 divided by 3.9 is 1. So it would be 1 inch for that missing side length. Okay, last thing we're going to talk about is scale drawings. So scale drawings are drawn with a scale factor to represent a smaller or larger object. To find missing information involving a scale drawing, you can set up and solve a proportion. So let's look at number 7. It said Kelly made a scale model of the Alamo. The Alamo has an actual height of 30 feet. Kelly's model used a scale in which one inch equals two feet. 
what is the height in inches of Kelly's model? So here is the scale that they gave us. It was inches to feet. So that's how I'm going to set up my proportion. They told us one inch equals two feet. And we know that the Alamo has an actual height of 30 feet, which is going to go on the bottom. Um, and we want to know the height in inches. So that's the missing value that will go on top of the proportion. Okay, so now we can um, either use the relationship or cross multiply to solve this. I'm going to cross multiply. 1 times 30 is 30. 2 times x is 2x. And then I would divide by 2, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. So the height of Kelly's model in inches would be 15 inches. All right, last one says Truett drew a map of Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. In the scale Truett used for the map, three centimeters represents 12 miles. The actual distance from Fort Worth to Dallas is 36 miles. What is the length of this distance on Truett's map? So they gave us a scale of three centimeters represents 12 miles. So we're comparing centimeters to miles. And the scale that they gave us was three centimeters to 12 miles. I don't know how many centimeters it is on his map, but I know the actual distance from Fort Worth to Dallas is 36. Okay, and I can see the relationship really easily right here. 12 times three would get me to 36. So that means three times three would get me to the missing value on the top of this proportion. And three times three is nine. So the distance on Truett's map from Fort Worth to Dallas would be nine centimeters.